Miss Aruna Sairam began her classical training under her mother, Raja Lakshmi Setu Rahman. She then became a disciple of legendary vocalist Sangita Kalanidhi T. Brinda, thereby continuing a line of women singers of the Tanjore tradition for more than eight generations. Later, she was mentored by several other Indian maestros. Miss Sairam is, I claim, as one of the most illustrious voices of South Indian music, while also acknowledged as a composer, collaborator, mentor, humanitarian, and speaker. In addition to her performances in India, where she, where she has had the rare distinction sorry, of performing in the smallest village and also important venues, such as Raj Trapati Bhavan, and at the memorials of the late Indian Prime Minister, Miss Sairam has taken Carnatic music to global arena to prestigious venues, including the Royal Albert, Albert Hall, the Royal Festival Hall in London, Carnegie Hall in New York, Royce Hall in Los Angeles, the Festival of Sacred Music in Morocco, the Oud Festival in Jerusalem. The Indian government nominated Miss Sairam to represent India at the opening of the International Book Fair of Frankfurt. She was also invited to perform at the Commonwealth Games. After her outstanding concert at the Royal Albert Hall, she was hailed by critics as the new Queen of Soul, up there with Aretha Franklin. Her music has drawn both scholar and layman, making her one of the most unique musicians of her time. Miss Sairam works towards the musical education of underprivileged students and has contributed proceeds from her concert to causes of great importance. A philanthropist at her heart, she has collected funds for cancer hospitals and to provide medical facilities in remote villages of Tamil Nadu, all through her performances. Miss Sairam has had numerous collaborations with French artists. In 1997, she collaborated with Dominique Pompugnac for his musical play, The Blue Baby, based on the story of Krishna, and went on their tour for 40 performances throughout France. In 1990s, she collaborated with Dominique Velard, founder of the ensemble Gilles Benchoin, to perform in numerous concerts, a unique collaboration between European and Indian Carnatic music. Owing to her outstanding contribution to South India classical music, and her contrib contribution connecting France and India through their music, Miss Aruna Sairam has been awarded the rank of Chevalier de l'Or, de l'Ordre des Arts, des Arbres et des Lettres. We are really thrilled to honor great contributors to the friendship and cooperation between France and India. So tonight, we are paying tribute and rewarding such an exceptional talent, an exceptional career, Indian, international, and also a true friend of France, leading cooperation with French artists for so many years. So to reward this great contribution you are doing to our relations between France and India and making our, our two countries being closer to know better one another, we're really honored to give you this medal. So there's a sentence I have to say by protocol in French. In the name of the Minister of Culture of the French Republic, au nom de la Ministre de la Culture de la République Française, je vous remets la médaille de Chevalier des Arts et Lettres. Excellency, Ms. Lee Stalbobare, Consul General of France, bonjour, madame. Je suis très heureuse d'être avec vous aujourd'hui et très honorée de recevoir cette distinction. 
Merci beaucoup. Distinguished guests who have graced this evening with your esteemed presence, a very good evening to you. Let me express my profound thanks to the Minister of Culture of the French Republic, Ms. Rima Abdul Malak, for appointing me to the rank of Chevalier de l'Ordre des Arts et des Lettres. And my thanks to the Consul General for graciously adorning me with the medal. Today we celebrate Bastille Day, la fête de la Bastille, as they say in France. This day commemorates the storming of the Bastille prison on July 14, 1789. This marks the beginning of the French Revolution, the end of the monarchy, and the commencement of a more democratic government in France. It's a historic day that we are celebrating together today. With these changes began the widely acclaimed French tradition of openness, inclusivity, cultural curiosity, and celebration of diversity, in the spirit of which France honors individuals all over the world for their impactful contributions to society through their respective fields. And we are grateful for that openness and inclusivity. I accept this prestigious award, not just as an individual. I accept it on behalf of the Legion of Artists, great composers, music organizers, in fact, the entire music fraternity. The media who have made me known to the world as an artist and to the audiences, all of you and everywhere else, all over the world, who have contributed in making me what I am today. So thank you, each one of you. I recollect my very first concert in Paris. There must have been about 25 people in that concert, and it was at the salon of one of the eminent artists who hosted this concert. I was just with my tanpura, no other accompaniment. As I faced the audience, I could see in the faces of the few people that were there, the question, Karnathik music? What is it? What does it mean? What kind of music is this? That was the question. Friends, I froze on that day because I didn't know what I would sing before these people. But it was a defining moment. It prodded me and prompted me to delve deep into the musical legacy that has been bequeathed to me by my ancestors, by my teachers. And slowly and steadily, I started learning how to communicate through this music. In fact, how to converse with audiences through this music. This was the gift of France to me. Thank you very much, France. I made some wonderful friends during those years in France. Marco Horbat, an amazing singer who came and learned Carnatic music with me under the cultural exchange program between France and India. Shakuntala, the eminent Bharatanatyam dancer and Kudiyatam. So with these friends, I would roam around the streets of Paris, going to the Claude Monet Museum, admiring his paintings for hours together, listening rapturously to the music of Debussy. This was my formative age, years in France. And I would learn how to appreciate French art and French music and French life. After this, I met Dominique Vela, 
who requested me to perform with him and it was another great landmark milestone in my life because I learned something very important. I learned that we could all be born and raised in different countries, different environments, speak different languages, eat different foods, wear different clothes, but the human soul searches only for one and only one thing, peace, joy, contentment, love, and oneness with the source, the divine universe. My deepest gratitude to my parents, my gurus, my parents-in-law, my husband Sairam, who is seated here, my daughters, Maitri and Gayatri for their support and for their love, to my colleagues and guides and mentors who have supported me and guided me in my work, to my extended family and friends, many of whom are here, who believe in whatever I do and always encourage me to keep going on. A big salutation to all of you. Thank you very much. And before I leave, I thought I would share a small piece of music with you just to tell you what it has been to be journeying in France and performing with artists in France. So with your permission, just a small piece of music. Thank you. The first part is a verse in Sanskrit. It is composed by Adi Shankaracharya. It offers oblations and glorifies the beauty and divinity of Devi Minakshi. The second part is a song in archaic Italian. It is from the medieval chant, from the Gregorian chant, of which my friend and colleague Dominic Vela is a pioneer. So I'm going to sing his part, although I'm not an expert in the field of medieval music, but with your permission, I'll sing both the parts. Shabda Brahma Mai Chara Chara Mai Jyotir Mai Vang Mai Nitya Anandamai Niranjanamai Tatvamai Chin Mm-hmm. 
madre del omni potente Fece madre figlia rosa bia che fermelia sovro gli altri fiori audente ma Shabda Brahma Mai Chara Chara Mai Ave Verge Me Gaudente Ma del omni potente ambiche madre ambiche ambiche